You know, Tati, Michigan has some of the most beautiful natural resources and wildlife in the country, but they are under attack by invasion of sorts, mm -hmm. invasion of species that are foreign to the Great Lakes states. Wow. There's yeah. a battle underway, yeah. right, yeah. to protect our resources. Yep. And our partners, the Michigan Wildlife Council, is on the front lines. And here to tell us more are Mike Sobieski and Tyler Mitchell. Both are coordinators of the Cooperative Invasive Species Management Areas, or CISMA, right? Mm, that's correct. Thank you. Thanks. So, Mike, tell us about your program and what you guys are doing, especially in the St. Lake Clare uh, area. Uh, what we're doing is we are a partnership of various state agencies, local, county agencies, along with uh, conservation groups, uh, non-profit groups, mm -hmm. uh, as well as concerned citizens who want to help mm -hmm. fight invasive species in the region. So we cover, the Lake St. Clair Sisma covers Macomb and St. Clair County, mm -hmm. and uh, we're trying to get people aware and involved and get out there and try to take control of the problem. Okay, so what is the problem? Tell us what's happening out the there. The problem is invasive uh, plant species we're dealing with, they, they pose a threat on three fronts, an environmental front, mm -hmm. uh, aesthetics, and also uh, real money as far as uh, property values. The presence of invasive species can really bring your property values down, as well as they crowd out native species as well and reduce habitat for wildlife. So we'd like to get a hold of that uh, before it gets out of hand. Wow. 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 So what, what are some of the things that you guys are doing to try to prevent this or this evasion of these species that are coming in? Uh, I think the biggest thing we're trying to do is to find out where the species are mm -hmm. and take steps to uh, eradicate or at least control them. Um, and so we're working with uh, all our partners to be able to come to the table with a plan and strategically manage um, and you know treat these these plants. At the source. So Tyler, talk to us about what's happening in Oakland County. Uh, in the Oakland County Sisma, we were formed just a few months before uh, the Sisma in, in Lake St. Clair. Uh, and we are trying to get together all the groups in Oakland County working on the problem and look at it uh, more strategically from the county level and uh, find where we can put the money and our resources to the best use possible. Okay, so what kind of species are you guys most concerned yeah. about? Yeah. Because for people like us, you know, right. it might be like some plant that looks harmless, but what, what are you guys really seeing out there? Uh, the biggest one we're dealing with in Macomb and St. Clair, and I'm sure in Oakland as well, is Phragmites australis. It's a, it's a non-native uh, giant reed. Mm -hmm. uh, it grows very dense. It can grow up to 25 feet tall. Wow. Um, and it can block views of your lake if you live on a lake. It can... So is that uh, what we're looking at out here right now? This yes. The pictures that are up? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. they're, they're very tall, and in this instance, they're blocking sort of a, a retention basin or, and drainage areas. So mm. that presents a danger right there. Um, that's one of our top ones we're dealing with, but we're also looking at Japanese knotweed, flowering rush, okay. uh, swallowwort, European frog, but these are some of the top five things that um, the SISMA is working under the Michigan Invasive Species Grant Program um, that we're sort of uh, challenged to, to approach. Okay, and I see mm. you guys have to be really methodical about this, but how can Detroit residents get right. involved? Uh, the, one of the best tools I think we're looking at right now is there's an app developed by Michigan State called the MISON, the, the Midwest Invasive Species Information Network. Mm -hmm. It's an app for your smartphone that when you are out in the field, you're taking a walk, if you see a plant that you think might be invasive, this app can help you identify it, wow. take pictures, and when you, you can hit send and it'll map it for us. And wow. it comes to the state, it comes to us as the SISMAs, um, and we can get an idea of where the problems are and we can approach it and treat That is so cool. That, that really is. I mean, not, not the invasive species part, but the fact that we can all take part in it yeah. and, and help Absolutely. solve the problem. Well, if you want to learn more and get involved with these programs, visit their website, michiganinvasives.org, michiganinvasives.org. And if you want to learn about other wildlife conservation efforts taking place in Michigan, visit here for M iOutdoors.org. Thank you guys yeah, so much for being here. Yeah. Yes. We'll be right